Will he stay or will he go? Cincinnati City Council just wrapped up a meeting to vote on one of two severance packages for City Manager Harry Black. Nottingham Side anchor Tamika Artis has been monitoring this situation and she joins us live from the newsroom with what happened. Tamika. Good afternoon, Ryan. This is all just happening within the past hour. Council voted seven to one to approve an eight month severance deal that would cost city taxpayers about one hundred and seventy four thousand dollars. Councilman Landsman was excused from today's meeting. Now, an amendment was added to give Harry Black two weeks. That's until April 30th to decide whether to take that deal or it will be off the table. The other severance package that was put forth by Mayor Cranley was rejected by council. That would have given Harry Black one year salary for agreeing to step down. Of course, this all started about a month ago when Mayor Cranley called for Black's job, alleging that he had been abusive to his employees, including firing the assistant police chief, Dave Bailey. Councilman Wendell Young spoke with reporters shortly after that vote came down. I think it's always a good idea to listen to employees when they have issues in the workplace. I think it's a bad idea to solicit those kinds of comments in the way that the mayor's gone about doing it. Councilman Young there is referring to his claims that the mayor tried to bribe him into voting yes to the 18 month severance deal that was voted down just last night. The eight month offer is not a done deal. However, it still has to be approved by Harry Black. That remains to be seen. Of course, stay with nine on your side for more on this developing story. We'll have much more for you later on this evening here on nine on your side as well as on WCPO.com. Brian.